Hey to all FKO channel fans. Top 10 Amazing Female MMA Knockout from 2013 to 2014. Holly Holm vs. Juliana Werner at Route 66 Casino Holly Holm made the most hyped fight of her young mixed martial arts career count, crushing Juliana Werner with a fifth round head kick to preserve her undefeated record and seize a TKO victory in the main event of Legacy FC 30. Cage Rage on the River 8 event from the year 2014, amateur female MMA bout with two debutantes. In a fight with many actions, Valerie Quintero landed a right hook and this fight was over. That was the first and last MMA fight for Erica Noreto. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Ryan Brueggemann has called a stop to this fight at 1 minute 45 seconds of round number 1. Pink oh Fight guys. 3 this MMA is... event from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Jogou no corpo, agora ali o body shot, esses socos ali no corpo da Mayara. Mayara chutou a meia altura, catou mais uma vez a perna dela, passou a perna ali, deu uma banda. Great takedown by Diana Silver and that brutal ground and pound. Easy job for Diana. Mayara Aguirre never won any MMA fight before and after that one. Alessandro Souza já era. É fim de luta, vitória. Ainda no primeiro round, pouco mais de um minuto. 50 ali, 1 minuto 40 de combate. Carimba mais uma vitória em seu cartel, Diana Santos. Next, Michelle Angelo vs. Roberta Gomes. Preliminary card from MMA Superheroes 3 event. We are now in round 2. Both fighters lost a lot of energy in round 1, so there are not many actions. But one easy left hook changed everything here, and Michelle Angelo won the fight. Soon after, Michelle Angelo had another fight in that event, and she lost. After that, she never fought again. Jessica Middleton scored one of the best knockouts in female MMA history when she landed this spinning backfist at Blackout FC 26. Two years later, she became a professional MMA fighter and went to Bellator. Jones, very athletic, she grew up playing basketball and running track. She weighed over 200 pounds when she first started training MMA just to lose the weight. Now she's a professional fighter. Holmes, big high kick. Yes. Most of that looked like it was off the hand, but some of it clipped her, I think. It sounded louder than it really was. It didn't do much to hurt Jones. Oh, but that one does! It is all over! This was the Holly Holm era. Holm faced Alana Jones at Legacy Fighting Championship 21 in 2013. She won the fight by head kick knockout in the second round. Soon after that, she went to UFC and after only three fights there, became UFC champion after another legendary head kick against Ronda Rousey. That time she set it up though, she, she was scooting to her right, threw that lead hand out there and then launched the rear kick. She set it up nicely and clipped Alana Jones perfectly. Unbelievable toughness shown by Jones as she looks over and shakes the hand of Holly Holm. Well, Holm, I think, just got her first highlight reel KO in MMA. Yeah, that was a beautiful knockout. Imagine yourself getting smacked with a baseball bat in the face when you're not looking. That's exactly what just happened. Pretty much. That's the flexibility that you and me just don't have either. Yeah. Robin does need to start looking up, though. You can't stack into a triangle. You stack into an arm bar, you look out of, an arm, out of a triangle. Oh. 
Oh. And she's out. It's over. Rumble at the Roseland 70 and Robin Woods vs. Katie Howard. That was probably the only one female slam MMA victory in history. That was a Rampage Jackson like powerbomb by Robin Woods. Alita Gray wasted no time in getting down to business in her third pro fight against Suania Team at the 24-7 Entertainment 12 event in 2013. As Team looked for a push kick to create distance in the opening seconds of the fight, Gray just wandered in and hammered her with an overhand right that unceremoniously sent her opponent on a collision course with the canvas. In total, the fight lasted just five seconds making it one of the fastest finishes in the sport's history. Jin Yu Frey has an associate's degree in nuclear medicine, a bachelor's degree in radiological sciences, as well as working full-time at an outpatient cancer facility at the time of this fight. Perhaps inspired by her academic career, Frey appeared to choose the nuclear option in the cage that night as she first rocked Harris with a head kick, then cracked her with a straight left to the chin that sent her to sleep, with another quick left hand also connecting on the way down leaving Harris slumped lifelessly against the cage. Sometimes it's hard to decide which KO is KO of the year. This time was easy, say Uncle Fight Night 2, the Octagon Center, Sheffield, 11th October 2014. Veronica Macedo head kick KO victory over Chrissy Auden was probably the most brutal female knockout ever in any combat sports. This sound was scary. Hope you enjoy. See you soon.